peered into Seneca's garden. A lark sweetly sang. Wasted her starched white petticoat. She'd been summoned and given a light. Please open this gate. Please open this gate. I'm here to bring change. Make things a gardener who was planting his seeds with great pride. wiped his brow for the time had arrived. He lifted a bent key from his pocket, held her elbow, and led her inside. As her mud-caked boots passed the threshold, the girl glowed a magnificent hue, enchanted by fragrant blossoms and vines, her cheeks misted by waterfalls dew. The gardener's eyes widened gleefully. His blissful smile held secrets divine. He knew she would lead a movement cradled by hands of master design. The gardener pointed round joyfully. He giggled with earnest delight. The lark fluttered to perch on his finger. Stroking her feathers, he spoke with insight. Only wrong. Oh, 
then interrupted by a gathering crowd, curious bystanders who puzzled with wonder. They marveled to witness this epic event, for divinity and grace swept them under. She addressed her new allies with confidence. She cleared her throat to decisively declare. The entitlements of men over women. Privileges we simply are not fair. We too are beings with king intellect. We too are brave. revolution began that day. Her voice, sure and firm, was persuading.
lark's calls quickened in rhythm. Soon the garden was filled with grand splendors. As the young and the old stood proudly together, they were transformed into freedom's defenders. Hand in hand, they gathered in more closely. As the songbirds sang hymns of elation, the crowd listened as her insights were shared. The lark's lesson, a dream for liberation. No longer, longer, no longer, longer shall your words, shall your words, your hearts be rejected. No longer, longer, no longer, longer be obedient, dutiful, and be. You must, you must, oh, you must grow, you must grow, you must grow, shut thorns of protection. And yellow roses, like yellow roses, be powerful and unique. When he is harder, you next can this endeavor. He is forced to you, covered with love. With defiance, with defiance, our reforms, your reform to leave on to take root. Gardner grinned and nodded her way. The crowd marched forward to begin the crusade, for there was no time left for delay.
yet their message was received with great malice. Violent fury brewed frenzied alarms. Swift tempers spread rage of contempt and disdain. Intimidation left women disarmed. Squalls of hate stormed about in foolish pride. Clouded by exploitation and power, thunder deafened those who dared to defy. Domination and chauvinism devoured. Ever clear in their pursuit for fairness, through years of condemning disputes, the silent sentinels endured harsh realities of women's restrictions, sufferings, and abuse. Upon wings of faith soaring ever higher, wives and sisters prevailed day and night. They stood firm through bitter gales and blistered palms, holding banners of white, purple, gold, ever tight. Resilient in their sacred vigil, renegades with a purpose to embrace. No word was ever spoken. They were adorned by hidden grace. Yet their efforts were chastised, scorned, and mocked. Arrogance created torrents of despair. Relentless abuse from their vicious assaults captured the lark in the fowler's snares. A courageous sacrifice for parody, yet they continued to mock, berate, and beat. Her wings were crushed with brutality and wrath. They dead, broken-hearted, at their feet. great sorrow. His face wrinkled by thousands of suns. Weeping great tears for this tragedy, he uttered, Don't you see?
Then the gardener brushed the dirt from his knees as he offered a silent prayer. With a heavy sigh, he faced westerly. Other gardens needed tending elsewhere. He knew then his promise had been realized and gently handed the girl his last seed. She clutched it close to her heart and sighed. Its safety was now guaranteed.
His shadow vanished ever so slowly as he reached the horizon's edge. A new beginning for humanity. They'd unite in equality's pledge. Together ascending to higher ideals, they sought compromise and fair accord. With grateful hearts and pure intent, integrity had now been restored. Yesterday's tomorrows are now before us. A century of sisters stand eternally strong. Listen for the song carried faintly on the wind. The lesson of the lark calls us all to belong.